Meet the Stevensons. Turn, you gonna come eat dinner? I haven't done my pole in a long time. That's why I wanted to put one up at the house. And we don't use that pole section of this living room. So why wouldn't I just put a pole in the living room right there? Or bam, in the office. You're gonna have a pole in your living room? Mm -hmm. In like order gonna allow pole dancing. We're gonna pole exercise. The whole moral of the story is let's right. put up a pole in the house okay. and I'll I'll be the best pole dancer you've ever seen. Party, There's mom. Party, party, party. One at a time. Here we go. There's sis. I'm Jacinda Gayla Stevenson. I'm 12 years old. I got a four-wheeler when I was eight. There's Junior. I'm Jerry. And then there's Dad. My name's Jeff Stevenson. I'm a national and world championship powerboat racer, and I drive the baddest ass boat on the planet. Jeff is a total like party animal. No, I wasn't the only. Person, but. I got tricked into going on a date with him at Nakashima's. And I had never been to the restaurant, so I figured I might as well just go. It's free food. <laughs> then I just got tanked, and then I thought it was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just sat and talked, and then I was like, oh, there's more to Jeff than just being a pervert asshole. So, um. Not at all. Oh, naked blob chicks. Pineapple covered in rum, whipped cream. <laughs> well, <laughs> who, wants to naked, who wants to wear this edible underwear? But that's all part of boating, you know, that's the fun of yeah. this. She wanted me. I didn't want him. No. <laughs> but I'm so glad I got him. Mm -hmm. When I met Jeff, I was a police officer. Isn't gas like a felony? Is that a federal offense? Mm -hmm. I've been a correctional officer. I've been in the fitness industry for 10 years. Oh, for her? her? Oh, I opened that. I've been a bartender for 11 years. So I like to think I'm multi-talented. Hey, honey. Check it out. So I'm pretty stoked to have it up in the This isn't shop. happening in the shop. No way. You can't have it in here. Well, it's got to be somewhere. It's just going to be in the way. We can't get boats in and out of here. This is a great shop, money maker, though. honey. This is it. It's not happening in here, though. Do you want to feel it? Maybe that'll change your mind. <laughs> you guys, we're trying to work. What about Lake of the Ozarks speed runs? You know, Jamie's juggling a couple part-time jobs and you know, I'm doing a couple odds and ends here other, other than racing or finding sponsors. Everything we do is uh, to try to keep JBS racing going or, or make the next event. We're very different than any other teams because we're the only family team out there. You know, our, our sisters work for us, our brothers, our friends, our, our family. You know, the difference between JBS Racing and GEICO is GEICO just has unlimited budget. They can do whatever they want. I mean, you know, it's frustrating to watch because we can go kick their ass with, with nothing and these guys have everything just handed to them. So um, it's really tough to sit and watch. When you're racing at 200 miles an hour, I mean, an engine can blow up, the, the bottom could fall off the boat. Put that bitch back on. I'm trying. You could have a fire, an explosion. You know, you could have another boat hit you. Now they're gonna hit us. Oh. Land oh. on you. Yeah. Oh. Flip in front of you. It's crazy, the, the carnage that happens at a race. I don't get stressed out about stuff he does. And um, we've had the conversation a million times if, if the Lord calls on Jeff, that he hopes that he calls on him when he's in that boat. And that's the way he'd want to go. So he's willing to risk his life to take that chance. That's what he's wanted to do his whole life. So, so be it. Your son. Our parenting style is pretty um, laid back. I would say Jeff would be more of the stern or strict one. What are you doing up there, buddy? 
Sometimes I get scared thinking of all the things that I did, like, oh man, here we go, now I gotta watch him uh, do all the same stuff. But uh, if you catch them every time they jump off the roof, um, you know, they're, they're never gonna learn that it hurts. You're definitely not allowed up here, buddy. You know, I like to give them room to grow and, uh, and learn. <laughs> okay, you're done. You're done. That is ridiculous. You know, I'll never let them talk back to me or, or anything like that, so. I put them in the place. They know who's boss. I have a really bad problem with speed. I'm addicted to speed. Just, uh, I think I, I think I need it.